What's going on guys? Coming up, we are tonight going to do part five, no, part four <laughs> of the Orlando build. Um, so yeah, let's uh, take a look and uh, see what we got going on. Okay guys, here we go. We are going to open up bag C. And this is going to take care of the transmission, motor, the uh, transmission and motor mounting plate, it looks like, and the central uh, plate for the suspension links. And we, are, I don't know if I'm going to get that tonight, but we are going to tackle that tonight. So yeah, there's a list of the parts you guys will need. And yeah, so I will get stuff around and we'll get to it and be back in a bit all right guys this is what we will need for step 12 out of bag number c uh here's the motor i purchased that you gotta buy separately there's the part number you can find them on ebay i'll post a link for them in the description and yeah so uh yeah let's get going
Okay guys, so that covers the transmission and motor install. Um, so yeah, hopefully that video was clear enough for you guys to understand. Um, so tomorrow I am going to continue on the build of the Orlando for part five. <laughs> so yeah, um, tune in for that. Um, but as far as tonight goes, today goes, that's going to wrap it up. Um, I will add I have received something in the mail for the K10 build so let me quick show you what that is boom there it is guys the chassis I've been waiting for so I actually bought this as is like it comes just like this um, I'll leave a link for it again in the video. Um, it also comes with So this is actually a deadbolt chassis, but I am going to make a K10 out of it. I love the deadbolt chassis. I just I don't know Here is the front body mount posts that go here and it comes with a front bumper also in red i might not use this just might i don't know just kind of go in the stock bin and it comes with a pinion gear so yeah this i might not use also because i think i might put a surpass motor in here but i don't know i haven't decided yet so yeah that is pretty sweet. So now I can get rolling on that. I am still waiting on the Fury Tech Outrunner motor to come in. I'm still waiting on the uh, ESCs from Fury Tech to come in, the Lizard. And I am waiting on, what else am I waiting for? Oh, some motor mounts and brackets for putting surpass motors in the uh, Panda Hobby Tektro K1. Um, yeah, I actually ordered two of them. <laughs> so both the Donko and Snakebite are going to be getting them. So stay tuned for those videos. I think it's going to be very cool. But anyway, guys, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, happy Friday. Mm-hmm. <laughs>